Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, we um, have uh, forced 25H2 here on this machine that wasn't actually getting it uh, with an enablement package. And so how does it go? And it's um, going well. I have no problem. So um, basically, uh, if you look at uh, my Windows update I have a, um, and the update history here, uh, pushed the update KB5054156. So this uh, moves now my uh, version to 25H2. If I do the winver command to uh, check it out, you'll see that I am now at build 26200.6725 version 25H2. And of course, we'll be looking at anything new or any changes uh, that would be in the settings app, uh, anything that would be visible and the way that uh, all is done and the notifications and stuff like that. Um, I don't see really much and that's a, probably normal because Microsoft once again did say that it is a um, uh, pretty much the same version as 24H2. This is this KB here is just an enablement package. Basically, what it did is just you know switch on 25H2 and whatever you wanted to switch on with other uh, features in Windows 11. So um, I don't have any problems. I've been uh, running it now since late yesterday. I've seen no. Uh, effects, but of course, you know, this is me. I wanted to do it because I wanted to show it to you so that we have the possibility to, you know, understand uh, better if anything happens or if there's any problems. I'm the uh, guinea pig that will do it so that you guys don't have to do it or, you know, know that maybe you should stay away from it. But apart from that, nothing much has happened. I don't see any, any. Uh, differences right now. So we'll continue looking at the list of all the features that it's supposed to have, but I have the impression that a lot of them were already enabled, as a lot of them that I see are already there uh, and were already there in 24H2. So um, these are a few things like that. So here you've got so uh, all of these things coming through and the uh, the side panel here for uh, a uh, for my phone um, you know these are things that I believe were already there at 24h2 so um, I I just don't see any difference so I don't recommend necessarily that you do it but this is an example of how to do it and uh, the next video I will show you how to do it and where to go and get uh, what you need to do that little enablement package that will, by the way, uh, be very quick. Um, when I, I did it, it this happened in, in minutes. All it did was just install very quickly a little something and it restarted and I was in 25H2 and you know it didn't take hours, it was really, really quick. So I'll look at my next video, there will be the link and I will talk about you know who should do it, who should not do it. Uh, if uh, so, I'll, I'll show the ways that you can actually get it, including the manual way that you can force it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.